वेलकम टू डीएम एस्ट्रोलॉजी वी आर इन टू द सीरीज ऑफ अ टॉरस एसेंडेंट एंड इन टॉरस एसेंडेंट टिल वी हैव रीच टू फोर्थ हाउस नाउ दिस इज अ फिफ्थ हाउस वी आर एंटरिंग फिफ्थ हाउस इज अ हाउस ऑफ वी ऑल नो दिस इज अ हाउस ऑफ पूर्व पुण्य दैट इज अ पास्ट डीट्स वॉट एवर द गुड डीट्स एंड बेड डीट्स यू हैव डेन the karma sanchit karma phal it is called punya is nothing but the sanchit karma phal when you have a fruit see let me explain when you have a fruits then uh, you uh, make a juice of it normally we eat the fruits but certain the juicy fruits what happen we make him into the we just uh, remove the shells and uh, we put into the mixer or uh, juicer and we make a juice and whatever the ready made juice has come the juice we drink that is a fifth house see it's a bhavarth bomb rules they it is a eighth house for your 10th house so whatever the deeds karma you have done what is a sanchit phal means what is a crux what is a balance and what is a main cause of that karma is reduced into the punya or pap whether you in the english it's not a good words as a good deeds or bad deeds but in the sanskrit it is called punya and pap so whatever the good deeds you have done converted into the punya and the bad deeds what be it is then it is converted into the um, uh, pap so good and bad deeds so here we are discussing the fifth house is a house of uh, good deeds bad deeds see fifth house is called as a house of creation so this is a house which is wholly solely created by oneself you cannot blame anyone due to what bad and good result you are achieving from this house this is entirely depend on your own capacity what you have created in the past birth that giving you result in this life see this fifth house is not itself as a past life but from where you have origin from where your inception of a soul from that to today is all your fifth house so here we are going to discuss very important thing about the fifth house now fifth house here is a virgo sign very intellectual sign virgo sign the lord virgo is a vin mercury and having very good relationship with the ascendant lord venus so venus and mercury are very good friend now we are going to talk about the sitting planet as sun now what happened that um, lord house lord has a very good relation with the ascendant lord and seated planet sun has very good relation with the significant or a karak called as a, your uh, uh, jupiter so sun jupiter one side karaka and sitting planet owner and ascendant lord uh, mercury and venus are other side both have parallelly a good relationship with uh, own self but here the lord uh, mercury has uh, average good relation with the sun but sun is not considering him as a truly friend so here what happened that uh, mercury will uh, not obstruct the result of sun in this house it will let him to do whatever the uh, thing he required to do the sun so sun will not obstruct anything uh, sun will not been obstructed by the mercury so here there is a very good combination of a 2 by 2 you can also call as a 2020 t20 or 2020 2 on the other side now first of all we are discussing about with the past deeds see sun is seated second from its own house it's a lot of fourth house seated in the fifth house that's a different between the aries ascendant and the taurus ascendant aries ascendant the lord itself is a sun seated here gives a very good result but here the sun being a fourth lord seated in the second house it's always creating some balance things in the life will not be and the exactly giving the good result as you are seeking so what happen here that it will not obstruct it will not give good result both the way it will be neutral so sun can give good result in the fifth house for the good deeds his soul has rest in the good time in the past birth and this life it will be supportive environment for his deeds to come out and give result 
See, sometime it is happened that your ascendant lord is not favorable with the fifth lord. It is only happened with the cancer ascendant. It's not a friend and not an enemy. Otherwise, a fifth lord will be always true friend with the ascendant lord. So, ascendant lord will always push on, able to enjoy all the deeds what he has done in the past life and able to enjoy in this life. So, that's something great. So, sun will give a enlightenment to the deeds which he had done in the past life. So, if he got the dasha of a Venus sun, in continuation, it will give good result. If Mercury Dasha will come, that also gives the good support and platform for uh, creating a, again a new deeds for their next life. And also, if the Jupiter Dasha comes in this uh, the, uh, during his life, then it will make a good deeds enjoyable. So that's a different kind of a Dasha one can follow in your uh, face during his lifetime. Now, it's also a house of a higher education. See, higher education, Mercury, very well, Jupiter, very good, Sun, also having good alignment. So, person can do uh, very good in the ed higher education, can do better in the higher education, get achieve the good result, either in the financial field or accountancy, CA, this all lines will be good for him. Or auditor, government panel auditor, likewise, this work will be favorable for him. So, here... The higher education also will not be obstructed, good deeds will not be obstructed, getting a good uh, opening, good support of his uh, uh, deeds of past birth and it will cater him very well. This is also a house of a children. So that children also are very intelligent and very creative. Due to the children, the father will be famous. People will recognize you that, oh, okay, you are a father of the, this person, you are father of this child. So, they will be recognizing you due to your ch children. Because son in the fifth house means their, son, their children are very good and uh, giving very good name and fame in their life. And that will be good for them. So, that also creating by children, it will not be obstructed. Mercury, Jupiter and sun position should be checked. But otherwise, it will not create any problem for children. Now, this is also a house of speculation, sudden gain and uh, unexpected gain, shares, stocks, uh, lottery winning, all this comes also in the, the fifth house. So, here this unexpected gain, Karaka Jupiter is very well settled with the uh, sun. So, sun will try to give good result. He will be always very calculative person. He will be always having a very good and calculative person and due to his calculation, he will be earning very good. So, speculative thing he can think, he can work out with his own intellectual level and getting good result out of it. So, ultimately it will create a good result related to a speculative gain also. So, there is no problem about speculative gain, children, there is no problem of a higher education. There is no problem about the deeds which he has done in the past life. Sometimes it happens that the Karaka Jupiter is not favorable with the seated planet. Then it will not create a good result of this house. That we will see in the different series when we approach certain planets which are not favorable with this. Like example Venus. If Venus seated in fifth house, his good deeds may come out but his bad deeds always will not able to uh, get uh, out in this life and it will be kept for the next life. So, certain type of uh, yoga we will see in the uh, events when it will come. Now, this fifth house is also a house of creation, creativity, love, affection. Uh, all the sportsmen, players also affected by this house. See, ultimately, it's a house of creation. As I title it as a house of creation, all kind of creativity will be seen from this house. So, what happened? The person will be very creative and his innovative and creative things. His novelty, his creativity will come on the surface. Sun will uh, give the uh, focus on the creativity what he has done and that things will be always uh, into the surface and people will try to see whatever the good deeds he has done. So, it will be very good for the person for having a uh, sportsman spirit or uh, having something with the performing arts. He will be inclining toward the music also and he will be also doing playing some instrument also by 5000. 
see i am going to do the separate video for the which uh, uh, deity dev or kul guru you have to pray uh, which god goddess is favorable for you or not so favorable for you that we'll see in the entirely different uh, video we i am going to uh, make so that there also that fifth house also indicating which god goddess you should pray here he indicates that the person should pray to his ancestral god see everybody have a kul devata kul devata means the lord or the god which has prayed from the generation to generation so all this generation to generation god he can pray if suppose anybody have a doubt that i don't know which god goddess our ancestors were praying so they can pray lord shiva because shiva is an ancestral god for everyone so they can pray lord shiva that's the ultimate that's the origin of this life so they can pray lord shiva so that's also here the sun and the jupiter unlight the soul and uh, remembering him what to pray what not to pray where to pray how much to pray so this is a very certain kind of a very informative things a person can uh, have inbuilt and he can enjoy this type of uh, praying things in his life so this is also not uh, something special for him i believe that uh, this person has having a knowledge what to pray how to pray how much to pray so they are the luckiest people having a sun in the fifth house and having a very good uh, chance it depends on the dasha also where the which dasha is going to face by him but ultimately he will be able to see the good things and good deeds will floating in his life and his work will not be obstructed see fifth house is very important for backbone it's supportive like your spinal cord spleen is your supportive organ so it's like a person who supports you from behind like your supplier they support you like your bank who supports you behind you so this all things will be very good uh, achieve and very good uh, getting by this person so that is also very good things of uh, this person that he'll be getting a good things in his life by achieving a good deeds he will be able to enjoy all the good deeds during his life tenure and ultimately having a very very soft and smooth life of his things so here uh, we have seen that uh, uh, higher education not obstructed children will be very good um, uh, good deeds will be able to enjoy creativity sport spirit and musical instrument can be play children creativity speculative gain all the way the sun will not upset him and giving him boost to enjoy all these things so that's a very good indication i have of this person and having this as a lucky thing for his life so here we uh, uh, complete our lesson of a sun in fifth house in taurus ascendant we'll see the uh, sixth house sun in the next time you can contact me in my this email dmastrology1 at the rate gmail.com and you can also see my facebook page uh, dmastrology my d darmesh mehta facebook so there you can approach me they can you can see so much informative articles so thank you viewers for listening this uh, video and keeping uh, interest in my videos thank you thank you very much